Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should go check the bathroom one more time before bed. I know the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzzz. Bzzz. Wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's not like... It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Wah -wah. Like some kind of robot bear ghost? Uh, what are you talking here? What? Makoto Nike, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's always magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh-huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Did you see a notice? What can't you read? The bathroom and the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm not an expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you! Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift it up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try! Turn the knob and lift the door while you pull. Imagine there's like a mini mini game for this. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> Woohoo! See, it opened right up! Isn't that crazy though? The door, your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hee <laughs> boo boo boo. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was, re I was ready for bed, exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Well, I mean, that's true. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up I'd realize it was all a dream? It was kind of lame as far as endings go, but it'd be fine with it. Actually, that'd be the best. But that wasn't the case, I'm guessing. Oh, Monokuma Theater? Hi! In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up... I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. <laughs> Good. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. And I'm already drinking a martini. Oh my God, this is the good stuff. Oh yes, 7 a.m. martinis on the spot. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. <laughs> okay, you thought the A in beautiful, but sure. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the turtle lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here. Together. She did say she's my assistant from now on. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, Shimaru. Hey. Good morning, Makoto. Uh, good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Uh, sure. I wonder if he's always like this. <laughs> okay. Where's everyone else? I wish the map would tell me, but I guess they don't. 
Will it tell me if I... Where is it? There it is. Map. Ishimaru. That's Hagakure. Those three are in there. So Hagakure is in the laundry. Hey, Hagakure. Washing machine. Not surprising this is the laundry room after all. Um, okay. There's a swimsuit hanging out the dryer. I wonder whose it is. Probably Asahina's. I got too many now! There's some magazines laying here, probably to kill time while you're waiting for the laundry. Skip. Hey, Hagakure. Well, Hagakure. Hey, man. Good morning, what are you up to? Um, I'm doing my laundry. This is the laundry room, right? Are you feeling okay here? You look totally beat. Actually... No, fine. Just tired. I spent all last night trying to contact the spirit world to find out why all this is happening to me. <sighs> Took all the mental juice I had too, but turns out I failed. Sounds like some of the ultimate clairvoyant would get into, actually. Is that... Sounds like some... Would get into... It's actually, is that really fortune telling? I have no idea. Okay, well, let's leave. What other stuff are there? Hey, guys. Good morning, Kyoko. Morning. This doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, what? did you need something? Uh, no, nothing in right. particular. Well, then. She left. Kyoko seems kind of like, how should I put it? Tacky turn? Or maybe she just plays things cool. Well, she just left. Ah, uh, Makoto. Oh, good morning, Makoto. Good morning, Shira. Mm. You know, we're standing here exchanging morning greetings, but you can't even look out the window to see if it really is morning. Yeah, true. Uh, Sorry if that was kind of weird. You don't have to apologize. Uh, I'm she looks really sad. I feel like I did something wrong. Hey, Biakura. Good morning, Biakua. Uh, did he not hear me? Hey, Biakua, good morning! Stop talking. Once is enough. Huh? I don't have time. I'm only here to get breakfast. I have neither need nor desire to talk to you. Now withdraw. So he did hear me. He just didn't respond. Alright then. Uh, anything I can check? Alright, let's go in there. Wow. This is a big place. No, I don't want to leave. There's some kitchen knives hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed so many to cook. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. There's so many different kinds and all super healthy. I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. Ha! Three coins! Yay. Deli style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up. Even in this crappy situation, when I see that meat, I start kind of get kind of excited. Four coins! I'm loving the coins. I'm loving the coins. I don't have any reason to go to the school area. I need to get psych to him. Oh, fine. I'd love to find out where these stairs lead, but there's no way past the gate. What's the point of having stairs if you just kind of block them off? Uh, let's go to the bathroom. Obviously, I can't go in. Oh, I can go to the boys' one, though. That's funny. It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming inside. Ooh. That's the only thing. I'm just looking around for Monokuma coins, honestly. Can't jump. No! I am a jumpless character. Ooh, there's a lock on a thing on the bottom. Hi there. There's a hatch on the floor. 
locked. Oh, weren't budge. It must be locked. Oh, nice. Six now. I can't get inside. The gate's in the way. It looks like it's some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Yay, seven. Leave the area. Oh, that's the door. It looks so small. <laughs> Hey, Saka. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Ah, good morning, Saka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. listen, I have a favor to ask. Sure. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you heading? Uh, um, oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up at any time and attack us. You never know. Well, whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um... So I just want to be able to protect myself, no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to protect? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways marked with and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you are, won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. <laughs> can you actually teleport into walls? I don't think you can. Um, I am going to teleport, but I'm going to teleport to the next area, not the gym itself. I want to search this area a little. Oh, hello. We have to find some way out, no matter what. Um, that's why you went with Hina and Toko. However... Well, Hina's the one I invited, to I that invited Toko. I have no problem talking to people directly. Oh, understandable. Toko together with those two, quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that the three of you make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles where their brain should be is not by choice. Just a second! Well, that was super mean! Hmm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Hmm. I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension! Hmm. Jeez, can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her anymore. Well... Oh yeah, good point. They like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. That's, that's funny. Oh, hey, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Wow, look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we can find something today. If we do, we'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Okay, then. Uh, can I go in there? Um... Uh, Makoto, if we're looking for the door of the gym, this isn't it. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. Sorry about that. What about here? I can go in here. Yay. Does that mean the AV room is going to be important later? What's this? It looks like some kind of mailbox, but there's nothing in it. There's coins though! The entrance is being blocked by a huge slab of metal. Surveillance camera, and that's what I... I can only assume is a gun attached. Better not to get too close. Man, what the hell is with this metal hatch thing? It's really on there, that's for damn sure. Anyway, there's nothing to do around here. Gonna freaking die of boredom. Huh. Uh. Being stuck in here is keeping me from racing towards my dream, too. Hey, um... A dream? Yeah! Yeah, to become a musician. You can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century right here. How cool is that? God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. Dreams. Did you say something? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. What the hell? 
Mondo, what are you doing? What? I'm trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it another shot. Oh, this There's gotta be a way to bust this thing open. Hell yeah! But I suck at thinking stuff up, so I guess it'll let you guys figure it out. Hey, damn it! Once it's time to act, though, just let me know. I'll show you what a real man can do. Well, sounds like we can really count on you. <laughs> Somebody tells me this is gonna last long. Okay, uh, can't click on theirs. Oops, I keep clicking escape because I'm used to that being the exit button. Alright, oh, um, uh, toilets. Okay, Terry, if you're looking for the door to the gym, this isn't it. Oh, uh, this is the door to the go bathroom. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for the door to the gym, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry about that. Come on, I'm a boy, and you might be. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find something in the display case I can use. Alright then. Oh, I'm gonna go further inside. Um. Is this something you need to do in the gym? Uh, no, not really. Oh. Uh, okay. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is there something like that on the display? Some terracotta clay figures. They didn't look like the kind of thing you put in a high school gym. You're collecting me, Nagi. <laughs> I feel turned on by that. Do you enjoy having my coins in your pocket? There's all kind of stuff on the shelves up above. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. <laughs> I thought he was actually being scared about that. Oh no, it's just a replica. Still, it's probably kind of impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched and I got gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um, well, you're right, your hands are totally gold. Oh, yeah, going for the gold, baby. Even just for self defense, I think it's a little. Well, it's still better than nothing, hey, I guess. Um... You should take it with you, it might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's being decided. Hmm. I don't see anything I could really use for self defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away. Plus, if anything were to happen, well, when the time comes, I'll protect you! Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. A mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for weapons then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. <laughs> reloads the room. But was technically we're looking at that bookcase and that's another area. So... Um... Um... Hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't need to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time just to do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what, are you, what about you, Seiko? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was home, always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, she was her smile. It was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to do, be someday. I wanted to give that kind of courage, encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. It's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your long, lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... Uh, it's not going to be the end of it, though. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Every, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream, not even for a second. 
even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dreams a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus, if for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current, without even talking, taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun! But... But that's not exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy every single day. I wake up and get to do what I want. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way. But they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dream together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... That's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, uh... While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Psycho? Why? I can't afford to Why? be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard a cry from out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she fell that way. Trapped in here is the trapped here this way. The dream she put so much effort into into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that could be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um I kinda killed the mood, didn't I? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, Saika, actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! You want me to make us something to eat? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiment? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. Well, I mean, she did watch that pop star with a smile. Maybe she tried faking hers to be like the girl on TV. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Nighttime. Oh no, still daytime. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is makes me feel that much more comfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more about it? Uh, sure. As you live out your life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them gifts, which can potentially give them a better impression of you. You can get those presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you will witness intimate intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that you will talk when a classmate... Um, in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you finish, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of pa time passes, your free time will come to an end, and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and skip it. You wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try it Try it out by spending time with Miss Sayaka Mizuno. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? What happens if I try doing it with someone else? <laughs> well, <coughs> I don't actually have any presents yet, so I need to go to the Mono Mono Machine, which I think I know where it is. Should be in here, yeah. This place was locked up before. Who's in here? Oh, no one's in here. 
What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty Mono Mono Machine? Uh, learn more about it. During your stay here at Hosefeet Academy, you'll find coins scattered throughout the school. These Mono Coins are treasured valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many Mono Coins you have. And if you put the coins in this machine, there's a chance you could win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Check the presents section of the handbook menu to review your prizes. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing... So if you lose, like, use one, uh, you have an equal chance of getting something random, but if you use, like, 10 or 20 or 30, um, you have a better chance to get something you don't have? Okay, sure, I don't mind. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright then. Uh, let's do one. I'll just do one at a time since I've only got nine. Uh, I've got an item. A magazine. Lucky! Wow, I'm really the lucky student, aren't I? That's amazing. What is that? God, Anto. Another lucky! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's amazing. That was funny. Okay, that's definitely for Leon. Uh, don't actually know what that is. Uh, that's some kind of swimsuit? I think? It looks like a mannequin with a suit on it. With the arms... Arm thing's taken off. What was that, like, a lucky thing? I don't know. I didn't say lucky. Don't know what that is. Got Anthem. I think that's what it said. Oh, got an item! I don't even know why I thought that. Oh, lucky again! Oh, I do have one more. Cool. Yep, don't know what that is. Cool. I should probably get going. <laughs> okay, let's see what our presents were. So, rosehip tea, herbal tea, said to promote beauty and wellness. Uh, you can somehow sense its essential elegance. So maybe Biakua, since he seems very high class? Or maybe Celise? I don't know. They both seem high class. Fill it with boiling water. Of course, it always goes bad in like 30. Um, it's ready in 3 seconds. Of course, it always goes bad in like 30. <laughs> don't know who would like that. Everlasting bracelet. Handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that once you put it on, it will never come off again. Well, that seems a little bad. Let's... Uh, water lover. The design concept is to become one with the water, and it claims to increase swimming speed by 10%. Um, so this one's probably for Yamada, because it looks anime-like. This one's probably for Asahina. Tumbleweed. A dried-out plant seen for many in western films. They pile up around your yard, just toss them off to the cliff or something. What? Golden gun. A replica of the gun preferred by a famous assassin. It's not really much- it's not really much good by itself, you can't even cook- you can't even- I can't even cock it, what the fuck. Donning this armor bestows the wearer with immense power, but at the cost of their soul and senses. What? Mr. Fastball. Throw it to measure your speed, but uh, don't throw it at a wall. <laughs> okay, I think that's... Oh no, there's two more. Novelist Fountain Pen, a once belonged to a late great novelist. They say the writer's soul is sealed within the pen, and any user can only write one sentence. I have become something not human. I'm so given that difficult. <laughs> uh, you might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to bears. It's a gr guide for junior high and high school students to help with uh, um, physical health. What? Oh. Well then. Alright. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what 
Psych is gonna like, but hopefully she likes one of these things I've got.